Hello and welcome to our first episode of the Mario series tutorial. Uh, for this first vid video, I think we're gonna start with the the magic growing mushroom of Mario. So if I hit play, you can see that we're in the third person template. Um, you have a character, and we have the third person camera. So to make this mushroom, we're gonna want to right click on our content browser, hit blueprint class. We are going to create an actor and we're going to call this BP underscore mushroom. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to open that up and add a static mesh in here. And I'm going to name the static mesh mushroom. So we don't have a mushroom mesh at the moment, but we're going to use a cube for a placeholder. We can hit compile and save. I'm going to shrink this down to half the size. And we're also going to want to add a box collision. Um, you know, make sure that this box collision is really tight around the box so that we don't uh, collect the mushroom from a really far distance. So I'm going to go with 1.6 so it stays really tight within the box. Hit compile and save. I'm going to head over to the event graph. I'm going to click on this box and scroll down and hit on component begin overlap. Hit that plus. And I'm going to drag out from other actor and type in third person character. So this will allow us to check if, if our box component is overlapping with our character. So now we have to give this some functionality. So I'm going to head over to our third person character. I'm going to open up the event graph and I'm going to just create a custom event here and I'm going to call it grow. So what we want to happen here is we want to increase our character's, uh, uh, our character's uh, size. Oh, first off, we want to sh actually shrink our character because Mario starts off small, right? So we can go with 0.5 and we can uh, cut this in half by five as well, by, by in half, I mean. And then drag your character up. And this should be good, we have a small character. So we want to enable him to grow larger once you collect the mushroom. So what we can do is uh, we can get the capsule component and then we could set world scale 3D. And this will allow us to basically tweak the scale in real time. So we can make this two, two, two. And that'll basically double it because at the moment it's one, one, one. So let's see if this works right away. So I'm going to drag out from this and type in grow, hit compile and save. Uh, I'm going to drag out a mushroom into the scene and hit play. So let's see what happens when I overlap this mushroom. Oop, yep, I grew in size, right? All right. So we have that growing functionality already programmed in, but we want to make it look better, right? So I think we could use a timeline for this, actually. Let's use a timeline. Let's call this grow timeline. And what we want to happen here is uh, we want to grow slowly, right? We don't want to just teleport into double our size. So what we can do is we can open up this timeline and we can add a flow track and we can call this grow. So I'm gonna just, I'm holding shift. I'm gonna click two places anywhere in the graph, change the length to one second. So this first node, I'm gonna make it zero, one. And the second node, I'm gonna make it one, two. So the reason why I chose these values is the time starts at zero and our scale is already, it should start at one because our character scale is uh, by default on one. And then after one second, we want that scale to be two. So uh, that's why I chose these values. So now we can use this in order to set the new scale. So we can uh, drag off from this and we can do a make vector. And we can simply plug in this grow into it. all three nodes here. And let's hit compile and save and see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and overlap it. Zzz, now you see our character grow slowly. 
So we want the mushroom. We want the mushroom to destroy itself once it's overlapped. So we're going to add a destroy actor here. Let's go play. So we get it and we grow. Do is you could add extra nodes in here. So I'm going to hold shift and click on this line and add three extra nodes. So I actually want this to go up and down, up and down before it reaches one so that it looks like we're growing and shrinking and, and then growing and shrinking. So I'm going to hit compile and save and let's see how this looks now. I'm going to go pick this up. So you guys see that? Let me demonstrate it again. I'm going to hit play, get the mushroom. We grow and then shrink and then grow. And obviously you can refine this graph, uh, make it less dramatic so it doesn't look so uh, <laughs> eye-catching. Less dramatic. Let's hit play. There you go. Uh, all right, that's uh, episode one of this Mario series, how to make the magic growing mushroom. Uh, if you enjoyed, if you learned something, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe because you do not want to miss this series. This is an awesome series where we're basically going to deconstruct entire Mario games. Peace out, guys.